Hello, Vikings. Together, we are going to make your Gwen much better than it already is. So now let's get into it. Let's start with Reigns Champions. The first one we're going to start with is Gnar. The reason I want to start with the Reigns Champions is because a lot of people struggle against Reigns Champions, and this is a good place to do it. So, as I said earlier, Gnar. This champion is a champion you can actually beat on Gwen. I think the champion matchup is pretty good. However, most people don't achieve a good win rate. It's a 49% win rate, which means most people don't actually struggle in this matchup. Now, why is that? It's because a lot of people don't understand that early game, you play somewhat safe, you chill, you sit back, you relax, and then once you get six, you become stronger. You just wait for him, you bait him in kind of, and then with the jungle, you smash him. And it's really, really important that you don't try and go on him all the time, because he can easily get out and he can jump away and he will survive. So try and wait for your junglers, play around that, and you will have a lot of success in this matchup. I think it's a very good matchup, and Gwen should be good against Gnar in teamfights and in lane as long as you play around jungle. Most people are just too greedy with no patience, and that's why Gwen ends up losing a lot more than he, she should against Gnar. Next up is Jace. Jace, a little bit different. Now this matchup, I would say, is not necessarily good or bad. The matchup against Jace entirely depends on the enemy team comp. So if you're in champion selection and you're thinking, oh, enemy pick Jace, I'm playing Gwen. Do I want to pick Gwen here? Now the thing is, you have to think about how much engage does the enemy team have. If they have a lot of melee champions on their team, yes, it will be pretty good to pick Gwen. However, if they have Karma, they have Royana mid, they have a lot of champions that you just can't do anything to, please don't pick Gwen. It's not going to work on this matchup. The matchup is roughly even. But it all depends on all the other champions. So you want to play against melee champions. Now these next tips are going to make you win a lot more matchups that a lot of people are struggling with. But it also gives you some tips for champions like because there's some matchups you want to avoid. And we're obviously talking about bruises. So the first one is Riven. Do you want to play against Riven? No. If you pick, if you see the enemy team pick Riven and you have the option to pick Gwen, run away. Don't do it. Pick something else. Because here's the thing. The one thing, the one thing that counters Gwen is champions that can one-shot. And Riven, which uses all her bursts at level 6, maybe if a jungler is there or whatever, boom, you're dead. You don't get a chance to use your abilities, and that is the number one thing Gwen struggles against. It's people with a lot of bursts. So try to avoid Riven, don't fight it, and if you get into the matchup, honestly, play really passive, and you can have a bad time and hope you get carried. I'm sorry, but that's all I can give you in this one. However, it's not all bad, because the next one is much better for you. We have Renekton, of course, and this is a very, very good matchup, as long as you don't die early. You outscale Renekton really hard, you're extremely good against Renekton teamfights, and everything plays perfect to your advantage. Now the thing is, Renekton is a little bit stronger in lane, you're gonna have a little bit of a rough time, and you want him to push you, where you just play kind of passive, sit back in lane, relax, sit under your tower if you can, heal up, you know, maybe get a giant gang and get a kill, maybe you don't, it doesn't really matter, because at the end of the day in this matchup, you're waiting for later on in the game, and you're looking for the teamfights. However, if you see enemy pick Renekton, Feel free to pick Gwen. It is a good matchup. Now, obviously, we got to talk about the Demon Aatrox. This matchup is really, really good. In this matchup, different from the other ones, you want to play aggressive. You want to try and see if you can cheese him level 1. Gwen is amazing at cheesing level 1. Send the boost, see if you can get onto him level 1. A lot of Aatrox will help the jungler. And then, bam, they walk into the bush. You slap them, you all in them, you try and kill them. Because you're much stronger than him. And if you can avoid his Qs during the, team or during the laning phase... If you can jump around so you don't get hit by the massive amount of damage you have, also what his passive at all cost, then you will beat him really easy and you should be able to snowball the lane. So against Aatrox, focus on winning lane. It's really important you know how to really push those limits and actually beat this champion. Now, here is a terror of top lane. Nobody likes this guy. It is obviously Darius who is worse than this guy. So it's not a bad matchup. You're actually quite good against him. But again, you have to play passive. You have to rely on outscaling and you have to rely on your jungler. You are not going to beat Darius alone unless you can get a really good cheesy thing level 1 because you're stronger than him at level 1 and then you keep the lead from level 1. If you get a lead level 1 and you can keep it all the way up, then you can win lane. But if you don't get an advantage level 1, if he doesn't help jungle and you can't cheese him or anything like that, you will sadly have a very difficult time. And I recommend you to play a little bit safer and just wait a bit till you scale up because you're going to be a million times better than him later on. Hey everyone, this video is sponsored by DJ Esports, a new crypto betting platform. I've been using it for my LSE bets and currently 
I'm down about 6%, but the goal is to end up as a winner before the season ends. If you also like betting and this is something for you, you can use my referral link in the description below. Now let's get on with the video. Now it is time for the tanks and the first one we're going to talk about is Shen. Shen is a fantastic champion. Who would have thought? Shen's really, really good, but the problem is here. Shen should not be good against Gwen. However, his win rate is 50%. And you might be thinking, well, that means he's pretty decent, right? No, it doesn't. The reason Shen does well into Gwen is because Gwen players suck. That's it. Now, here's what you got to do. And these tips are very important. Against Shen, you beat him early if you can get onto him. Also, you never want to get hit by his passive. It's extremely important. If you don't get hit by passive, you can out-trade him. And then after 6, you dominate him. Now, if you can't get the level 1 and beat him level 1 by avoiding his passive and the Q, empowered Q, then just sit back and wait for level 6. You don't have to beat Shen on lane. A lot of people are losing the game because they're trying so hard to win lane. And then boom, you die once. Boom, you maybe die twice. And now Shen's going to teleport around the map and win the game. The problem for Gwen players is they die to him before the level 6. And that's the entire reason why the win rate isn't better than it is. You should be dominating him. You should be so much better. You just have to be a little bit patient and you'll do well. Now I was thinking, let's do a quick question of the day because it's LEC time soon. It's starting tomorrow. And I want to know who is your favorite player or team. Leave a comment below and tell us about that one. And now we're going right into Orn. Orn is another champion that you should beat. Here's the thing. He's going to throw out the Q, the little mountain thing. Dodge that one. And you have to dodge it by walking. So try and walk around in circles like this instead of walking straight lines. It's pretty simple. Maybe it looks stupid on camera. I don't know. But that's what you got to do. Walk around in circles around him. And if you manage to do that and he misses, then you can start trading him and you actually win. It's the number one thing to do. Also, if he misses the mountain, you can walk up to him, slap him around. Then he starts firing using his fire breath. You can jump right behind him. He misses it, and then he can all in. That's a very good opportunity for that. And a lot of on players will mess it up. So look for that one. All right, next up, we got the Juggernauts. And we're going to start with obviously Set. I did a matchup guide on this guy uh, recently, and you can check it out up here. But Set is a very, 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 very good matchup to play against, as long as you have the stronger jungler, and as long as you know how to play around your jungler. These are very important things. You're good against him in teamfights. The idea of Gren is also good against Set, but the problem is Set often ends up snowballing against Gren because you don't respect him enough. People make the mistake of over being overconfident and then they sadly lose against a champion they should be beating. Just relax in lane. Don't be crazy. Play around the jungle. Understand, did my jungle start topside? Well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be pushing the Set in because if you do, you're going to be slapped into him when he pulls you for, to him. And then the jungler's going to gank, and you're going to die, you're going to be behind, and you're going to struggle for the rest of the game. That's just what happens. So be really careful about this guy, and play around jungle. It's very important. Now, the next tip I'm going to give you is how to really dominate. And this is the time you want to pick Gwen. We are going to play against Mordecai now. And against Mordecai, you want to pick Gwen, because Gwen is amazing against him. You beat him level 1 extremely hard. Now, what you want to look for is you can E every time he does the grabbing motion, and starts grabbing with the whole huge thing. You can dodge it. And if he does that one, you beat him. You just have to make sure to never get hit by it. If you do get hit by all his abilities, you will lose. But if you can dodge it, which is relatively simple, you should be able to win this game. And it's really, really, really good for you. Now, the last thing is the bonus tip. And this is one of my main champions, Jax. Now, against Jax, most Gwen players actually lose. But you, you can be the one who wins. Now, the tip is, generally, the win rate is 46.5%, which is really bad. And I think Jax is good into Gwen, but I also think Gwen is good into Jax. And now the idea is, I think the problem is most people that play this matchup don't understand the matchup, so you can abuse that. So against Jax, what you want to do every time he jumps into you, Q, instant Q, right? And then what you do is, you jump backwards. His stun is going to miss, and then you win every trade. You take small trades, and you do not go on him first. You go up to the minions, you stand on the minions, and then you wait for him. He's going to come first, and you're going to win the trade. If you go first, you're going to lose the trade and you're going to look like a clown. So please don't be that guy. Especially after I give you this bonus tip that's going to make you win that. Please don't be that guy. Just take it slow. Stand on the minions. Get your stacks up for the Q. He goes towards you. Or maybe he jumps you. You Q, you jump out. And you just chill, right? It's very, very good trading. You can win this matchup. And if you do win the matchup, leave a comment below. And I will see who of you guys managed to do that. And that's it for this time. I'll see you next time. See you later, Vikings.